All right, guys, what is going on? Hope you're having a great start to the week. And uh, again, thanks to everybody that uh, subscribes to the channel um, or is a member. If you're neither, just watch. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's get into it. So, quite a bit to talk about today. And uh, if you've not followed the Summer Wells case very extensively, uh, I got some juicy stuff for you to listen to also. I got some juicy audio clips for you to listen to. Um, people are asking me, uh, apparently Don said something about the kids were uh, playing on the roof of the house. Um, shortly before, I guess, maybe Summer went missing. Um, I'll tell you what I think. I think Dawn at this point is just uh, throwing stuff out there for people to talk about and to speculate with. Um, you know, like, like they've said, you know, about the, uh, remember when they pulled a prank on Mary and all them? Um, I think at this point he's just throwing stuff out there for people to talk about, you know, to see. You know, I thought, uh, you know, Donald Trump, he would, you know, throw people a bone, see, see how many people would chase after it, you know what I mean? I think that's what Don's doing right now. I think he's just throwing bones out there and seeing how many will chase after it. Um, I mean, it is possible that they did, you know, get up there. And, but, but my thing is, you know, Don's had two years to mention this, and he's just now mentioning it, so I, I don't know. I mean, well... I mean, it could be true, because, I mean, he had two years to mention the whole, you know, CPS and BB gun ordeal. Uh, kids shooting uh, BB guns, but that just came out a couple months ago. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, but regardless, there's a lot bigger issues that Don and Candace and Grandis need to be worried about, in my opinion. A lot bigger issues. So, um, trying to think where where do I begin, guys? Where do I begin? Well, I'll just start with this. I've noticed um, since my uh, I done a I done a real short video before this one. If y'all want to go back and look at it, it's Jody Sue talking about um, Andy taking stuff over to One Ten Ben Hill Road, and Andy is Jody Sue's, uh, I guess, ex boyfriend. Um, and if y'all don't know who they are, they are the neighbors of Summer Wells. They, they lived across the street from, from Summer Wells. And, you know, um, allegedly there were, you know, drugs being taken back and forth from, you know, her neighbor's house over to 110 Ben Hill Road and vice versa, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but all I know is that Jody Sue says that her ex boyfriend was taking drugs over to 110 Ben Hill Road. And we'll, we'll play some audio clips of that here in just a few minutes. Because uh, that in itself is very concerning. Like I said, guys, Don, Candace, and Grandis probably have a lot bigger issues to worry about than letting kids play on the roof. Not unless it is how Summer ended up having an accident and maybe passing away. But 
I doubt that. So, if there were a lot of kids hanging out over there at 110 Ben Hill Road, and Jody Sue says, you know, some stuff is being over there, some stuff is being taken over there, um, something about kids being touched. You know, so if there were a lot of kids hanging out over there and this touching going on, you know, uh, Don and Candace could be facing some serious charges depending on if these minors testify about what was going on over there. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, uh, that being said, let me go ahead and uh, pull you up a seat, guys. Uh, I'm going to play some uh, recordings for you. And you may have, if you guys are new to the case, may have never heard these. If you're not new to the case, you may have never heard these also. Um, and um, there's... Uh, There's four people that I can think of that could testify against Don and Candace. Hunter's sister. She said that, uh, allegedly she witnessed Summer being backhanded in the car one day, which is interesting because Dudley, um, you'll hear this in a minute, Dudley says that uh, he witnessed Dawn backhanding one of the boys. Hmm. There's something up with them backhanding their kids, allegedly. So, uh, let's see. So you got, and then you got, and you'll hear this in the audio, these recordings too. Um, I don't know who Sherry, I don't know how Sherry's related to Hunter and Allie and them, but she says some pretty interesting stuff. And, uh, of course, you know, Andy... Bernard, Jody Sue's ex-boyfriend, was taking stuff over there. That's four people that could testify against Don and Candace. And um, when I mean testify, I mean they could say some pretty... They, they could give some pretty damaging testimony, let me tell you that. So without further ado, guys, let me go ahead and play these uh, recordings for you. Seen him beat the shit out of his sons. Explain all, that. All three of them? Two of them. Which ones? I mean, he just, uh, the one he did when he had him on the job site. Oh, he back talked to him, something. Backhanded him. Oh, we were Can I ask you? And, and I think that, did, that was the case. You think, no, 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 did, Do you think different. Candace was, or uh, Summer was sexually molested by any way by the family? I mean, because we're hearing rumors. You do. By who? Don? Or probably the mother. Probably the mother, too. Candace. Wow. Y'all go over there and ask why exactly it is he was selling drugs to the children. Why he was potentially causing little girls over there to be sedated and to be touched with the shit he was selling them over there. I know that he was selling to the actual children, uh, you know, over there. But then that Candace was getting it for the kids, too. So you go ask him why he was selling drugs to those children and to Candace for the children. Go ask. And ask him what type other than wheat. And what else he was selling or doing at the time, I don't know. But I do know it was the last few days. Uh, it was pretty much damn a fucking confirmation that he was using coke and meth. And you've got to think of what that could do to a young one and sedate them. And for what purpose? And normally it was pain to lose the head state, you know, for the most part. There was all kinds of 
little once of my stream. Looking back and pacing on it, but it was damn near every time. And that one, that one little girl was over there for months, dude. And those other little ones over there, God only knows what the fuck happened. They didn't come back up. But I had a devil. And I, and I very much think it plays a role in what was happening to other little girls over there. And I very much do think that it could be part of why Summer looks so asleep. She wouldn't be fucking gone if he had just done something. He would have had the proof everybody else had called in, didn't he? It's that simple. But he hid it from everybody. He fucking hid it. Why? Wow. After she vanished, then he tells me he watched him beat her. Never said a fucking word. So, but he hid the abuse happening in the summer. And he may have very well helped with other very bad things. Or he wouldn't have hid the abuse happening to her. He wouldn't have turned a blind eye when we kept seeing her pull at herself and stuff. In some of the last days before she vanished, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have bitched at me. He wouldn't have slept just fine. He wouldn't have been beating the shit out of me, telling me to shut the fuck up about summer. Uh, sleeping just fine while she was gone. I never even really seen him spank the kids or anything. But he watched full on abuse over there. And told me so. But only after someone vanished. That's why he was so certain they had murdered someone. Alright, well there you have it. There you have it. So drop some comments below and uh, let me know what you think about all this. I know it's a lot to take in. I told you it was going to be pretty juicy. Now, some of you may have already heard this stuff. Some of you may not. So this is for the stuff, or this is for the people that may not have already heard it, you know. And again, for the people that's already heard it, you know, just a reminder of uh, how sick and serious this investigation is. And then you have, on top of all this, you know, you, you, you have Candace going to the swim hole with Hunter on the day Summer Wells went missing. And it's alleged she let him drink alcohol and then she freaks out. After TBI says not for them to be talking, she freaks out and uh, from what Hunter says, went over to his house to confront him about what he told the police, which in my opinion is, uh, you know, witness intimidation. And you know what? I don't, I don't think Candace has ever explained why she done that. Now let me know if I'm wrong, guys. Has Candace ever explained why she went back over to Hunter's and confronted him about uh, what what he told police? I don't think she's ever on the channels that she likes to go on. Um, and, you know, given her um, ability to explain her side of things, I don't think she's ever explained why she went over to Hunter's that day and confronted him about what he told police. It would be interesting to hear her side of that. You know. And then, um, you got these people that are interviewing Don, you know, people interviewing Don Wells. He's he's on he's been on a few channels, guys. He's been on a few channels. But uh, again, when people interview Don, they really never ask him for a yes or no answer. And I've noticed something. If he can answer yes or no, if he can't do it, 
it ends up being some bullshit long drawn out garbage answer or explanation or deflection he totally goes off and left field about something a lot of times but uh, again if, if anybody wants to sit down and you know ask the hard questions tell him I mean if you're gonna sit there and say oh I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him the hard questions well tell him to answer them the right way you know I've had people do that to me you know answer yes or no Don you know but they won't do that to Don Wells well maybe they will after watching this video so uh yeah guys uh if you end up if you end up interviewing Don again and you end up asking him some questions Again, in this investigation, why is it so hard for people to give a yes or no answer to these questions? I'd like to see more questions answered with a yes or no. What do you think, guys? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the little podcast today. And uh, again, drop some comments. Let me know what you think about what I brought for you. Uh, I figured you'd like this one. Got plenty more where this come from. Uh, we're going to follow this case all the way through. And uh, when there's an arrest made, we'll leave and follow it, you know, through the through the court system. So we're, we're, we're here for the long haul, guys. Justice for Summer is what it's about. And hopefully she'll get it, and she'll get it soon. So, uh, so thank you guys for uh, tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.